So on the front of your trailer here, you have two 20 pound propane tanks that are filled and ready to go. You have an auto select um, on the front of the propane tanks. Whatever arrows point to is your main tank. If you leave both valves open, it will automatically go to the one when the one's empty. But if you leave this valve closed, you have to physically turn it to this one and open it up so you don't run out of propane. Behind your propane tanks, you have two deep cycle batteries that are hooked up and ready to go. And beside your battery over on this side, you have a battery disconnect switch. So simply if the key pulls out, your batteries are disconnected from your coach. Put the key in and rotate it clockwise to put battery power into your coach. Coming around to the side, you have a stabilizer jack here. There's four of them, one in each corner. There is a three quarter inch crank that is supplied. The side bat. This is your drain for your kitchen sink. Everything that goes into the kitchen sink will come out of here. There is a hose that will be provided. Beside that is your city water connection. This is where you're going to hook up your garden hose when you're camping at the campground. Beside that is your AC prep. It's just what it says. If you decide to go with AC in the future, it's pre-wired and prepped for it. <coughs> Excuse me. You have hot and cold taps, outside taps. There is a coily wire and a wand inside provided. This is where you're going to hook up your 25 foot 30 amp cord. Uh, there is an L pin here. Line up the L pin, push on, give it a twist, and then spin it on to install that. The four corners of your roof do have latches, one in each corner. You do have to release these before you raise the roof. This is the back of your fridge. So to work your fridge off of propane, when your propane tanks are opened, you're going to push this valve down, turn it over to high, and hit your igniter. There's an inspection window here, you can identify there's a blue flame in there, then you know you're lit. You can let that go, and this is your thermostat while you're on propane. If you're on hydro, keep that off. The green one is when you're plugged into 110 shoreline, and then you use the knob above it for your thermostat. The higher the number, the colder the fridge. And that thermostat will work also when you're running off batteries. Remembering that batteries are a huge drain on, or the fridge is a huge drain on your batteries. Beside this uh, is your hot water tank. The controls for that are inside. Uh, your fresh water drain is under here. This little valve, just turn that valve to drain the water out of your fresh water tank. Storage. Furnace exhaust, hot air will be coming out of there, so don't pile or lean anything against your trailer here. Um, if you decide to bring your TV outside, it's prepped for that too. Again, make sure to unlatch. Fold size spare on the back. Hopefully, you don't have to use it. Another latch. This track here, your uh, griddle will go on here, and you have an outside table that'll go on here, and then. To supply the gas for your griddle, so pull this out, pull this back, push it onto the griddle, and then roll this for the flow of fuel, for the flow of gas. Uh, 110 plugs, still come alive when you're plugged into shore power, outside speaker. This is where you're going to put the garden hose to fill your fresh water tank. If you're going to go boondocking, you need some fresh water. Uh, the switch for the light is under the light. That's the antenna for your radio. This is to access your toilet. Your cassette, you simply lift this up and pull this out. Um, the handle comes out in your walk of shame. Put the handle back in. Like so. <laughs> And then simply pushing this in and making sure it's behind that tab so it's secure. And more storage stabilizer jack. And then the last clip here. Now coming around, now that you know all four clips are done, your winch button is here. Up is up, down is down. It is noisy, but and I'm also going to be looking for a neon green strap in the corner. strap 
so it's straight. It doesn't have to be piano tight, but it just needs to be straight to give you the rough idea of what height the roof should be at. That jumping and jerking is normal for tent trailers. So you have two sets of poles, black caps and white caps. The black caps go to the back, the white caps go to the front. <coughs> Install these, you got the 90 degree bend, it goes in the hole there, and I just choose the bottom hole for the back bumper. Same thing, the 90 degree bend goes in the hole up there, and then you can grab onto your bed and pull it up until it stops. It will lock in behind these little stoppers underneath the bunk here. Same procedure for the front. And then pull your bunk out until it stops. Now at this point, you want to go to the four corners. You're going to look for this button, this little button here. And you're going to do that button up first underneath, right there. That lines up all your Velcro. And that protects this corner for bringing this down. Once you get that button in, Velcro. Get to this procedure. So if it comes down, <coughs> then you can do your valve pull up. Exact same procedure for all four corners. Look for that button. Do that button up underneath. And that canvas protects the corner for this canvas. Now to bring your slide out out, you unlock it and twist it. It doesn't matter which way you twist it. Just unlock it and twist it. Pull the handle out. And it'll tell it to go to a stop. You have one on each side. You'll look, reach in here. You're looking for a, that thing. Looking for this pin here. And there's a hole in that. It goes in like so. The one on each side just to lock it in so it won't slide in on you. And then you can go around and do your Velcro up all nice when you're setting up. Velcro all the way around, like so. Now there is this little rope. There's one on the front bunk too. It simply comes across and goes into the hole on this side. Like so, just to keep the canvas. The front bunk is uh, exactly the same. Now at this point, this is your travel door. It comes off, simply lifts straight up. And there's another set of hinges at the back here for storage and just line up the hinges. And there is a bungee cord that you can hang the door there and that's where it will store while you're camping. Steps pull out and then fold down. Coming inside, I'm going to lift the sink up and that allows you to put the safety switch down and that puts power to your ceiling. Once inside, 
you have three of these poles. You're looking for this little black knob here. You put the pole inside that black knob and push the pole outward and it lives right there. It'll be the exact same procedure for that bunk, exact same procedure for this bunk. Just simply looking for that knob, put the pole in the knob, pushing the canvas out, installing the pole. Um, so your bed or your kitchen, this is a banquet style table. So you can simply undo the Velcro. Pull the legs out till they lock, pull the leg out, lock it, that's the table set up. Your cushions live underneath it, simply from there. dinette set up. Beside it here, this is a, a couch slash extra bed. Do this bed up. There is a strap here. You can undo the strap. This will roll out. That is your griddle. This flips over onto the couch mode or into bed mode to keep it in couch mode. Flip this couch mode. Um, you can't leave it in couch mode because the bunk will not clear it. So this does need to be folded down for the bunk to clear. Um, your camping door is up on the ceiling here. You have a strap here. You have a strap here. It won't fall down. It is on cables. A little twist lock here. I like to grab the door approximately in the middle of the door. Lift it up and then you exit the trailer as you're bringing it down. Once it's down, you're looking at the top here. Make sure your canvases don't get pinched. Make sure you don't fall out. <laughs> but uh, that's where, there. You have four locks here, one there, one there, one here, one here. And then you simply do your Velcro on the inside and outside to seal your door up. To remove the door, you can see the opposite, just release all your canvas. Make sure your locks are undone. Grab the door and slide it slowly up. Again, it won't fall on your head. That's where your door will be for travel. Um, three burner stove. Select what burner you want. Use a barbecue lighter to light it. Uh, your ground fault receptacle here. If you have problems with your plugs, make sure that this is reset. CO detector is hardwired in, so it'll be on all the time. Uh, water pump switch right there. This is your hot water switch here to ignite your hot water tank. When your propane's on, just simply turn that on. That will ignite and light your hot water tank all on its own. Above that is your inverter button. Simply hold the button until the green light comes on to power your plugs off your batteries. Again, big draw on your batteries. Hold the button in the center until the light goes out and the inverter's shut off. Um, yeah, your converter here. All your 110 breakers are here. All your 12 volt fuses are here. Um, I'll go through your stuff right here. You're good there. This is your shower slash toilet. I stored all your stuff inside here. This is your hanging pantry that will hang on the ceiling on them hooks up there. This is your crank that's provided for your stabilizer jacks. This is for your outside hot and cold shower taps here. You can either use this wand or use the garden. Whatever you choose. You got a barbecue flipper, you have a water filter, water filter wrench, 
The location for your water cartridge is in behind here. Simply take the two screws out, door opens up, and you'll see your water filter cartridge in there. Two mattress controls. Um, these plug into the head of your mattress. Uh, plug in and then heat your mattress up. These are bunk lights. They snap onto the poles. Um, you can snap on that pole, that, any pole, and they plug into the ceiling just like a headphones. Just plug them in, turn them on. Here's another bunk light, same idea. This one has a fan, two speed fan on it. This is the remote for your radio. Here's a privacy curtain to go on this track up here. Here's your literature for everything that's in the trailer. All your literature's in this book. This is your 25 foot 30 amp cord. And these are your two sets of keys. The, uh, this one works your compartments. This gold one works your travel door, or sorry, your camping door. This one works your travel door. They're both the same. I'm just gonna pack these all back in here because they travel good in there. Furnace control is right here, so simply grab at the top white button when you slide it to the right, select whatever temperature you want, the furnace will light and ignite all on its own. This is your griddle and this is your outside table to go on that track that I should, said earlier. This fan here, unlock it, crank it open, select whatever speed you like this um, exhaust air out of the trailer and there is a thermostat here so if you set it there it shut off so when it gets to this temperature if it gets hotter it'll turn on so you can set the fan to whatever temperature you like close and then lock for travel um, your ceiling lights are good nothing <laughs> okay so I'm gonna pack this table down quickly Again, nothing can be above the rails here, so... Cushions are, the cushions are too high to stay on top, so they store underneath. Got one there. One there. And then if there's not room for the fourth one, so the fourth one I just place right here. Uh, so this is your monitoring system. Uh, you have awning lights. They're outside under the track. Uh, Wi-Fi, <coughs> Wi-Fi extender, your password and all that's right there. And uh, this is just your battery. Where is it? Yeah, battery thing. Um, So bringing the sink down will shut the lights off in the ceiling. Now we're ready to yeah, it cycles. Um, so I want to put the slide out in first. But uh, that's where the bunks sit on or on top of the slide out.
So making sure your pins are out, just push it in slowly. Making sure you're not pinching canvas. Everything looks good. Twist. Lock. Twisting. Locking. Now I want to pull this canvas back out so when I push the beds in it doesn't do any damage on the canvas. Underneath the back bunk, I forgot to show you, there's uh, two safety stands. Um, they simply just go on here. You can velcro them in. They look just like this. They're just a safety stand. Uh, if your cable should ever break, the roof doesn't come down. And again, they're located under the back bunk. Put one in opposite corners. Doesn't matter what corner, just opposite corners. The zipper only has to go as far as you reach. It doesn't have to go all the way up. Making sure that the canvas is not on these rails. up slightly and release some holes. At this point, we're ready to bring the roof down. I like to do it in two or three stages, so a little more than halfway to first round. Packing it in, I try to get my corners in as far as I can so they don't bulge up in the corner and the roof won't come down.
come down to the wind stops on its own. That's the way it's stopping. And from this point here, you can just pull down these levers to close the rest of the roof. So if you have any questions or concerns, you can call us at 519-371-0370 or text or email at info at terrys with an S dot CA.